Do you feel the beautiful evening breeze? But wait, why its strength is so intense? She is Zephyr. Hey everyone, today I got you Zephyr the Bird Lady. Zephyr is one of the strongest Warframes in the game and I'm here to show you that she is a powerhouse. But before anything, I'd like to say a few words with my own native language. قبل اي حاجه شباب حابب اوجه خالص الدعاء لاهالي فلسطين وان شاء الله النصر قريب خليكم دايما فاكرين قول الامام الشافعي ضاقت فلما استحكمت حلقاتها فرجت وكنت اظنها لا تفرج now without further ado let's head to the first kit started with the passive that makes her floaty meaning she falls slowly and affected by gravity less than any other warframe also it gives you 150% critical chance this critical chance is additive to your modded critical chance. The only condition to get this crit buff is being mid-air. The passive has an augment that removes the floatiness in her passive, but you still get the critical chance bonus. And when you remove the floatiness, you get 15% ability strength. Imagine an augment for the passive. <laughs> the first ability, Tailwind. When you hold cast it, you hover through the air. When you tap it, you dash it to the direction you're aiming at. And when you skydive, meaning you aim to the ground, you create a small explosion that deals impact and slash damage. Just damage, not the status effect. And this damage scales with your ability strength and the activation height. Meaning, the higher you are, the more damage you will deal. And the explosion radius scales with ability range and airspeed is affected by ability duration. Who would have thought? This ability has an augment called target fixation that increases Tailwind's damage by 100% after each successful skydive. But this damage bonus will reset if you stay on the ground for two seconds. Her second ability, Airburst, one of the best grouping abilities in the game. When you tap it, you ragdoll enemies in front of you. This ability scales, this ability scales scales with with range only since the duration has no effect on it ignore her whole tap since it drags enemies away from you and you don't want that this ability has an augment called airburst rounds that increases your secondary damage by 40 percent for each enemy hit by airburst her third ability turbulence she covers herself with turbulent winds that alter the trajectory of incoming enemy bullets beams and projectiles you'll still get hit by explosions and enemy melee attacks but still it's better than nothing and this ability is one of the best tanking abilities in the game this ability scales with with range mods and duration of course the more the better this ability has an augment called jet stream that increases your movement speed by 40 percent and your projectile flight speed by 100 percent for you and your allies and these bonuses scales with ability strength. Her fourth ability, which is one of the most unique abilities in the game, Tornado. Zephyr forms three tornadoes dragging enemies in, and hitting the tornadoes distributes the damage on the dragged enemies, including critical hits and status effects. And the more juicy thing that the critical hits deal 200% more critical damage. This 200% critical damage multiplier is applied after the modding. So it's pretty much like Volt's shield if you remember that. This ability has an augment called Funnel Clouds that creates additional 8 tornadoes with half of its size and losing the ability to drag in enemies. Now since you have decent understanding of her kit, let's head to some builds. 
Starting with the build requirements, you need two yellow shards for casting speed and three tau forged for energy maximum to remove the need of using prime flow. And now with the first loadout, I'm using Spectro Rage from Gara, utilizing her augment Spectro Siphon that gives me 50% chance to drop energy orbs when enemies killed within the last ring. And here's the build. In the aura, I got combat discipline to deal damage to myself, triggering Arcane Avenger that gives me 45% flat critical chance, prime continuity, and Ogre message for duration, rolling out for the 3 seconds of vulnerability and status blends, equilibrium paired with the sin set on my Panzer, and Arcane Energize for energy sustainment and health sustainment, overextended and pre overextended stretch and Ogre reach for enough range, giving myself 265 range in total, for the weapons of a choice, use literally whatever you want. For my second loadout, I'm using the third ability's augment to increase my projectile flight speed. In this loadout, I did not know what to use uh, as my helmet, as my helmet. I, but my thoughts were between Roar and Zara's Whisper, and I took Roar to be, since it's all around her. And the build has shown, brief respite in the aura, for energy to shield conversion, prime sure footed for the less time on your butt, prime continuity for 55% ability duration, vigor swap for more base damage on my weapon since I'm going to be swapped between my secondary and primary, overextended for some rage since you need some range on your third ability, and the augment jet stream, hooger secrets, and umbrella intensify, and molt augmented to give me 178 ability strength, and I have a range of 175. For the weapon of choice, I'm using my Telos Bultor, again, since I love this weapon a lot. And for further explaining, I did a detailed video explaining every possible build for this weapon. So do go check it out. Last but not least, my third loadout. This loadout utilizes my first abilities augment, and funny enough, it doesn't need any helmet. And also, it has the same mods as the first loadout, so enjoy it while you still can. In the aura, I got brief respite for energy to shield conversion, arcane energize for energy replenishment, ogre reach and stretch for range, the augment target fixation, willing guard for the 3 seconds of vulnerability and status plans, overextended for more range, prime continuity for sun duration paired with ogre message, and arcane eruption. To knock down enemies when you pick up an energy orb within 7 meter radius. So I have a total of 265 range and 179 duration. And ignore the ability strength since you are going to stack the augment infinitely. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Please consider subscribing, it's free. You can always change your mind. Also, drop another like, it's very appreciated. Stay tuned and see you all next time.